Browns Meet Flats, and you're watching PDX Hollywood loves Astoria, and guess what? So does PD Exposed. Hi, everybody. I'm your host, John Olson, and welcome to another episode of PD Exposed from the Astoria Warrington area. Join Shell Bailey and me as we bring you more palate pleasures from this wonderful community, including a cooking class with Master Chef Chris from Baked Alaska. We're also going to take you on a daring helicopter ride over the rough waters of the Pacific Ocean, one that you're not going to forget. I know I won't either. The stunning Hotel LA provided lodging for our crew, and our featured band, is the ever so colorful, and I do mean colorful, Browns Meat Flats. We'll see you right back here in a few for PD Exposed from Astoria Warrington. Don't go away, because we're not allowed to. PD Exposed from Astoria will be right back. Send money. Let me out. Food, music, Mom. magazines. Cigarettes. Good stuff. Did you know that Clark Gable began his acting career in the summer of 1922 right here at the Astoria Theater? Well, if you've been here, you knew that. But if you haven't been here, you didn't know that. Now you do. The best wines in the Northwest, that's exactly what you'll find right here at the Cellar on 10th. Shell's going to hook up with Mike, the owner, and learn a little bit about the Cellar on 10th. And I'm going to go taste wine with the crew. It's nice and cozy downstairs at the wine cellar on 10th. I'm here with the proprietor, Mike Wallace. Today we have uh, Mark Retz with Zerba Cellars with us here today. Um, Zerba's one of the up and coming wineries out of the Walla Walla Valley. We also do winemakers dinners a couple of times a month here at the cellar. In our cellar room here, we seat uh, up to 16 people and just have a wonderful five and six course meal, perfectly paired and matched with all the wines. Here at the store, you can find anything from seven, eight dollars up to four, five hundred dollars. You have to have a perfect balance in a mix to cater to, again, your customers' needs. After winning some awards or being placed in a particular magazine, you had people calling you from New York wondering where to land their Learjet? I did, yes. We were featured in the wine calendar in Wine Enthusiast when we had our Ken Wright Cellars dinner here a couple of years ago, and the phones just lit up when that magazine came out. A gentleman called from New York and was wanting to know where he could fly his Learjet into. Where was the nearest airport to, to fly into? Mm -hmm. It was just amazing to feel those calls from all over the world. It's the 25th anniversary of the Great Columbia Crossing. Once a year, the people of Astoria get together to cross this four and a half mile Astoria Megler Bridge. It's a benefit for the people of Astoria. The Chamber of Commerce funnels the money into the community, especially benefiting children's programs. And today, with the weather, these people have lots of guts and lots of heart. Hi, I'm John Bogren. I fly for the Columbia River Bar Pilots, and you're watching PD Exposed. You guys will each have a headset on. You'll be able to hear everything that's being said. Radio calls, um, everything. When you want to slide this forward, this whole thing will slide forward, and then this seat also swivels however you need it to swivel. It'll all be over in about 30 seconds. <laughs> the hoists are really quick. No, no messing around. All right, you ready? Ready to go. Yeah, go ahead, John. Okay, number one. Okay. The 365 Alpha Alpha on the ground, Astoria. Number zero Alpha Charlie over Corvallis, uh, 122.3 should work. We'll be a little bit bumpy till we get past these mountains on the south side of Astoria. The windows are fogged up, but it's the fog outside. <laughs> so is this boat going into Portland? Uh, he's going to Longview. Longview. Longview to Lone Long. I should be able to see it here when we're within about a half a mile to a mile. I just, we'll just time it. The beam hatch four. How many hatches are on? There's uh, five on there. Yeah, that'll work for me, John. Okay, I'll just keep the rotor above the crane. Okay. 
Basically, every ship that comes into the river broadcasts a signal on radio, and we pick up that signal on this AIS system. And for instance, right here, if I click on it, it'll give me the information on this ship. It tells me it's the Aries Forest. Uh, it tells me how far it is from the CR buoy. It tells me how fast it's going, what its heading is. And it'll go on to tell me where it came from, what kind of cargo it has, where it's going, what its length is, uh, what its draft is, and what its width is. Captain George Flavel was one of the first licensed Columbia River bar pilots and Astoria's first millionaire. He built this gorgeous mansion in 1885 and today this Queen Anne style home is open to the public. Today at Relax the Back we're focusing on products that help you sleep better. I for one am a bad sleeper so Miriam, tell me, what can these do for me? Two items right here are the uh, spinal line board. It's made out of memory foam. You put it between your legs when you lay on your back and it keeps your spine straight. And a, a smaller version is this. Another item we have is our side sleeper pillow. And it has a, a contour cut out for your shoulder and an indentation in the center for your head, which will keep your head straight. So you'll be a lot more comfortable as you sleep. Great. I also have this item here. It's not for sleeping, but it's for realigning your spine, getting rid of migraines, anything like that. And you just rest over it and stretch your neck out for about five or ten minutes a day and you'll be feeling a lot better. What about snuggling? Snuggling. I live alone. Yes, this is the Tempur-Pedic teddy bear. I would recommend that oh, to keep you company. We also have all the other wonderful Tempur-Pedic products. Awesome. Amen. For more information, visit both store locations, including the newly remodeled Beaverton location, or dial the number on your screen. And here's your Relax the Back, what's on tap, calendar of events. Governor Ted Kulangoski, and you're watching PDX Exposed. I'm standing in a beautiful kitchen store by the sea. I'm here at Mison Plus with co-owners Linda and Corrine. And first off, Linda, would you please tell me, what does Mise en Place mean? It's a place for everything and everything in its place. You've got all these wonderful things. Tell me about some of the things that you carry in your store. Well, we have all-clad cookware. Uh, we have cuisine art, emeraldware, a great selection of knives. We sell sets of pots and pans also, and then we have some bakeware. You have some really unique gadgets. Linda, there's one right behind you that you were showing me. Pick that up. Show me how that thing works. Well, if you're going down a buffet line and one of these is on the plate, you just stab your meat and drop it off. Why didn't we think of this a long time ago? It would a lot easier. <laughs> and you also have cooking classes here too, right? We do. And our chef, Chris Holland, who is a partner in the store with us and with Jennifer, is our chef in our kitchen. Okay, it's time for Cooking 101 with Chris. We're going to do fresh fish. Copper River sockeye, sea bass right off our coast, and fresh steamers. These are all natural sweet onions. Yep, tilt the pan down a little bit and pull back. There you go. I'm taking this very seriously, actually. Got to get this down here. 
Oops. Okay, I have somebody who's going to come take care of it. Sweet. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and throw some uh, salmon on the grill. Okay, I've just lightly uh, oiled these with just a vegetable oil so they don't stick to the grill. Pan's getting hot, we're gonna oil it lightly. If it's not hot enough, the fish is gonna stick to it. So that's kind of key. So it shouldn't stick. I'm gonna throw in some uh, organic fennel from a farm here in Oregon. And we're gonna braise this run-of-the-mill, ordinary white wine. We're just gonna slice these up real quick. It's called tomato fondue, actually. These tomatoes are gonna melt. Yeah, it smells good. We're going to season them a little bit here. That's it. Done. Cooking is more of a thought process to me, like a, a theory as opposed to something I had one time. This whole concept is completely unique. How did this start? The business started out of my van. Um, selling soup at music festivals and it just went on from there you know even even then I didn't know what I was gonna do next our first lunch menu was on a chalkboard <laughs> it was pretty funny to see my wife would go out there and here, here's our menu you can't hold it or hang on to it because I need it for other tables but here's our menu from there it's just grown um, it's doubled in size now we offer private dining rooms and we kind of specialize using Northwest ingredients these are all wild mushrooms with uh, Dungeness crab, sashimi grade albacore tuna, all natural, organic, uh, fresh fettuccine noodles, and broiled scallops. This is a flame broiled 10 ounce, all natural ribeye steak, wild sockeye salmon, lightly marinated in Alaskan amber barbecue sauce. Tell me what is a baked Alaska? Very simple, super simple, double chocolate chip cookie. Vanilla ice cream goes on top with chocolate sauce, walnuts, and we're gonna bring it out to your table flaming with uh, brandy. premium waterfront dining. Look, look at it, you know, it's fantastic. On the night of June 21st, 1942, Fort Stevens saw its only action when a Japanese sub fired five and a half inch shells in the vicinity of the fort. The shelling caused no damage and the commander at the time refused to retaliate. This incident made Fort Stevens the first continental U.S. installation to be attacked since the War of 1812. I'm George Vassar, United States Coast Guard, Chief Petty Officer, and you're watching Pig Exposed. Now this is the kind of interview that I like to do. We're with Ken Wilson down here in the Cabernet Room of the Hotel Elliott. Tell us about the Cabernet Room and tell us about what we're about to do. What we do down here is sample wine. Uh, we do periodic wine tastings from various Northwest wines. Uh, we try and feature Northwest wines here. What we've got with us here now is a Cabernet from uh, Washington State, Dunham Cellars. Very good cab. Cheers. So tell us about this room then. There's a, there's a movie theme. You've got a cigar room down here. Uh, people go in and have a good cigar, enjoy a glass of wine, relax. Very popular. Surprisingly popular with the women, which surprised me. Talk about the renovation. The renovation took two and a half years. It started in 2000, um, toward the end of 2000. It reopened on April Fool's Day, 2003. Went from 68 rooms to 32. With the 68 rooms, there were two bathrooms on each floor. Uh, modern convenience, we do have a bathroom now in each unit with heated floors. That's what I wanted you to talk about because that's unique to this hotel. Oh yeah. Yeah, all the bathrooms have heated floors. Our club suites have the two-person jacuzzi spa tubs. The heated floors impress me. I mean, what, what other things are unique? Because this is really a unique property here. It is a unique property. We uh, do deliver a light breakfast basket to every room every morning. Uh, we have our rooftop garden, which is a beautiful spot. We have 360-degree views of all over Astoria and Columbia River. Several nice places to go in the evening, uh, down on the river or around here, right across the street from us, the schooner is a great place to hang out, great food, great And food. they also deliver your room service. They do room service for us. They oh, deliver so right down here to the bar. They have a nice little appetizer menu here with some great uh, crab and some fondue and other entries there that are really good. Because I'm kind of thinking here with the wine, and it's, you know, it's that time of day where maybe a little room service might be a good call. And I'll tell you what, if I, if I bring a special lady to the Hotel Elliott, I'm probably not going to want to leave the room. Oh, that's what we got here. What you making? 
your chicken. Mm. Nice. Dungeons Crab Cakes. Thanks for housing us. Thanks for coming. We look forward to having you. Over 15 Hollywood blockbusters have been filmed here in the Astoria area, including Kindergarten Cop, Short Circuit, Free Willy, most recently The Ring 2, and filmed right here in this house behind me, cult classic, The Goonies. Come see the new additions at the Schooner Restaurant. You're watching PD Exposed. Ah! While Shell talks to Chris the chef, I've been sent on the most important job and that's ordering drinks for the crew. So Mark and Brent back here are going to work their magic and I'm going to bring drinks to the crew. You brought us six entrees. We had the wild salmon uh, seared with a uh, balsamic honey sauce, and then it came on some haystack sweet potatoes and wilted spinach. We had a seafood trio pasta that came with a penne pasta. Uh, warm water lobster tail with the saffron cream sauce. Roasted half chicken, which is a new addition to our menu here. Cooking for him is obviously an art. Everything came out so well prepared. What is it that excites you about cooking? Just the, the freedom to, to create whatever I feel like doing. Um, living here, it's a great area. We have the best fish in the world. We have, you know, wild mushrooms this time of year, and it's just the great fresh ingredients that I can get here. so much for having us tonight at the schooner. It's been my pleasure. Lewis and Clark camp near a story in the winter of 1805 and 1806, establishing Fort Clatsop, the first U.S. military post west of the Rockies. Let's make some fire. It's kind of cold. That's how they did it. <laughs> Hi, we're Patrick and Ron from the McMulligans, and you're watching PD Exposed. Ray Rihala, banjo. Dan Sutherland, mandolin. Ned Heavenrich, harmonica. Robert Stevens, guitar. John Fenton, bass. For 1790, we stood in Cape Cod. Preparing our ship for the trip we now lie. And we played and set sail on one October morn. Got to be pretty good to be actually recommended by the Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce recommended the Browns Meat Flats. Ned here is going to talk to us about the band. How did you guys get together? A bunch of us moved to this area like in the late 70s. We'd all bring out our music and play and that was like, you know, 78, 79. Tell us why Boston Men. Yeah, Boston Men, well, actually Robert, the guitar player, wrote that in 92 because there was like a contest for a song to celebrate the bicentennial of Captain Robert Gray discovering the Columbia River. And to sail with the Boston Men. I cannot for the life of me figure out your inspiration behind rain. That was uh, the 1996 flood that uh, we experienced, the 100 year flood. Well, I woke up in the night in my bed under the leaves, and I heard the southwest wind whistling through the other leaves. As the first drops hit the roof, I told my woman I believe that 
we're in for a spell of rain. Yes, we're in for a spell of rain. First it started out real gentle, and I thought it was my friend. It's the changing of the season, fall's coming around again. But in Oregon, the rainy season never seems to end. We got rain, 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 rain. We got rain, 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 rain. We got rain, 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 and it's giving me a pain. It's flowing down the hillside and spreading across the plain. It saturates the ground, there's no place for it to rain. We got rain, rain, rain. And the river's near the flood stage, it's not even high tide. And if that dike should break, there'll be no place we can hide. And the weatherman says more rain. Yes, the weatherman says more rain. What's a story as best kept secret? A story as best kept secret? Well, it should be probably the Browns Meet Flats, don't you think? Good answer. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on another special episode of PD Exposed from the Astoria Warrington area. And thanks to all you wonderful people here who made this show possible. Thanks also to our sponsors, American Laser, Relax the Back, Comcast, Latitudes, London Influence, and The Showroom. It's not too late. Go to PDExposed.com right now to register for your chance to win a $1,500 gift certificate to American Laser. We've put smiles on a lot of faces. Yours could be next. And while you're at our website, drop us a line and watch our show for free. We'll see you next time on PD Exposed, everybody. Make good memories. This is CNN. Hey, no, it's nice. Much more informative than the winemakers for dummies. Uh, oh, wait. Join Shell on me at this helicopter ride over the brisk wa, sorry. Fort Stevens contains an eight mile network of paved, mostly level bike paths, all closed to vehicle traffic. It's an excellent place for an afternoon stroll. <laughs> she says there's a bike. <laughs> Hollywood loves a story. And for our final Astoria Warrington Fast Fact, this building behind me is where the crew is going to pick me up tomorrow.